it is impressive to see our extra large AI supercomputers and what they enable our developers to do. But we have something equally cool to show you in the next nine minutes. This time, our AI will be extra small and extra distributed. It will run across numerous smart interconnected devices, enabling you to program them as one intelligent system. To enable this, you will see our upcoming programming and deployment models, Dapper and OM, not networked by 5G APIs from AT&T, supported by Onyx-based AI models that can seamlessly operate between the edge and the cloud. And finally, say hello to my friend Spot here, a Boston Dynamics robot. Spot will literally run AI on the edge. Thank you, Spot. Good boy. These past few months have rapidly accelerated how important using AI on the intelligent edge is across a host of scenarios. Frictionless access, hands-free computing, and personal protective equipment became required nearly overnight. At Cardinal Teen Hospital in Taiwan, workers help protect patients and staff from the spread of COVID-19 by deploying computer vision at hospital access points. In France, Doctors are using HoloLens to collaborate and share information with their patients. In education, for the first time ever, instead of working together on campus, all first-year medical students from Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine practiced anatomy at home. These examples build on the intelligence systems work we have previously done with Unilever, Shell, Merck, and many others. We are eyewitnessing another revolution. All things around us are becoming smart things. You will program and manage them as one AI-powered cloud-to-edge intelligent system. With such a system, we can reimagine and reprogram our physical world to help manage our work, automate redundant tasks, see, hear, and collaborate across thousands of miles, as well as keep us safer when we can't be there in person. We want to show you how you will be able to build such systems yourselves. Let's take a look at a prototype application showing some of our forward-looking AI on the edge features. This app uses an infrared camera and an AI model trained to detect license plates to help with curbside food pickup for my favorite hypothetical takeout pizza restaurant. You see the application detecting the license plate of a person picking up their to-go order. Note that if we lose network connectivity, the license plate detection fails. We can't have that. We need zero business downtime. So we're going to fix this by allowing the application to run on the edge when disconnected and on the cloud when the network becomes available. This is our architecture. Our camera is already connecting to an edge device, which right now uses an Onyx model in the cloud. We're going to change this edge microservice to also leverage a local Onyx model when disconnected. We could also configure this system to run exclusively on the edge, never sending anything to the cloud at all for privacy or cost reasons. We're using the Dapper distributed application runtime, which offers a simple microservices-based programming model. This is our solution in Visual Studio Code. This wrapper of a 5G network API from at and allows us to query 5G network conditions. And our code will leverage the 5G API to allow us to switch between calling cloud and edge based on connectivity. We'll create a route to handle the network disconnecting. And we'll write the logic to use the local API model. For deployment, our DAPA microservice is already configured with Azure Arc to run local and in the cloud. Azure Arc uses the de these deployment specs to automatically deploy to our Edge Kubernetes cluster when we check in our changes. Now that we've made our changes and Azure Arc has deployed them, let's retest. As you can see, the application works with zero downtime with only slight decrease in confidence levels when running just on the edge. And as the network is restored, the AI adjusts back to cloud-based mode. This isn't all though. We've detected our customer coming to the restaurant. 
Now we need to deliver their food. To deliver the takeout, we'd like to show how we're integrating our work with autonomous robotics, in this case, with the Boston Dynamics team and Spot, who you've met earlier. Gina is going to help us show this work. Thanks, Lila. I'm going to show how our Intelligent Edge solution can leverage AI to have a Boston Dynamics Spot robot look around, use our Edge AI to find the customer's car, and carry their takeout to them. We've mounted an Edge device on this Spot robot to allow us to control the robot autonomously and deploy our AI model using Onyx Runtime. Here I'm showing the code where we use the Onyx AI model on the Edge device that will help us recognize the license plate using images captured from the robot's cameras. We will use this code to leverage the robot's camera perspective and control the robot's position to navigate to the car with our license plate. Lastly, we've built this using custom commands, leveraging speech and language understanding in Azure Cognitive Services to activate Spot to deliver the food. Putting everything together, we'll ask Spot to deliver the order. Hey, Spot. Deliver order to Lila. Note that in the future, Spot could potentially pick up and load the order into the car. Lila will tell us more about the complexity in training this kind of AI. Good job, Spot. Over to you, Lila. Yum, pizza. Thank you, Gina. We just used Visual Studio Code, the AT&T 5G network APIs, Onyx for AI on Edge and Cloud, Azure Arc, Dapper and OAM, and the Boston Dynamics robot to build an app that intelligently crosses the cloud and edge. As Gina mentioned, to deliver the groceries would require precise control. We need a high degree of confidence for navigation path, traversing stairs, and controlling speed on approach. To build such a system, you need reinforcement learning paired with expert-guided teaching, in the same way you would learn how to master a sport. This training requires hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of repeated attempts to balance controls and forces that act upon our system. I would like to announce public preview of Project Bonsai, the machine teaching component of our autonomous systems platform, which enables training such models. Bonsai is not for robotics only, though. Our customers have used it to optimize and bring autonomy to a wide range of scenarios, from complex process controls in the chemical industry, to machine tuning, calibration, and motion control in manufacturing, and to even making apparel goods and food processing. The next wave of computing will enable us to manage the world hands-free, remote, even in the most dangerous and difficult conditions. Smart things will be our remote hands and eyes. And we are building intelligent systems to empower you to program them to solve your most critical needs. These crit critical systems must protect our security and privacy. At Microsoft, we believe it is our responsibility in partnership with developers like yourselves to innovate transparently, respectfully, and responsibly. We are committed to enabling developers around the globe to have a lasting impact on society through our ethical AI principles and the AI for Good initiatives. With Microsoft providing AI platforms, safeguards, and guidelines, we really look forward to seeing the intelligent systems you build for your customers. Thank you.